Yeah. What's up, y'all? Uh, this is James, aka Dad the Rapper, yada yada yada. Anyway, I'm uh, making this video because I want to talk to y'all about something I recently read in the book of Revelations. Uh, specifically, Revelation chapter 13, verses 5 through 10. Um, so, you don't mind, I'm going to read it. I'll try to put it up on the screen and then uh, let's, let's commence. The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies to exercise its authority for 42 months. It opened its mouth to blaspheme God and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven. It was given power to wage war against God's holy people and to conquer them. And it was given authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast, all whose names have not been written in the Lamb's book of life the lamb who was slain from the creation of the world. Whoever has ears, let them hear. If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity they will go. And if anyone is to be killed with the sword, with the sword they will be killed. This calls for patience, endurance, and faithfulness on the part of God's people. Uh, when I was reading this, what struck me the most was two things. The first thing was that everyone will be caused to worship the beast except those whose name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. This struck me because this means that your friends, your family will worship the beast. Will worship the beast. If they aren't a child of God, which means you are going to have friends and family who you think might be saved, but a clear indication of their lack of faith in God is their willingness to worship the beast. On the other end of this, you got the person whose name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. They won't worship the beast, but that's where verse 10 comes in, where verse 10 mentions that one or two things are most likely gonna happen to you. You either be taken into captivity or you will be killed. And the Bible was very clear in it saying that if anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity, they will go. And if anyone is to be killed by the sword, with the sword, they will be killed. Which means that as a believer in Christ, you got something to look forward to that you may not specifically be looking forward to, which is thrown into captivity and probably being ill-treated because the beast is gonna unite the world against God. And there's gonna be some real tumultuous times ahead for the believer. If you're, maybe you may not consider it the same way, but if you're lucky enough, you may be killed to be absent from this life and present with God and no longer enduring the pain and suffering of what's going on and happening in the world. But either way, during this time period, we're gonna be called to do the same thing that we're called to do now. So my encouragement to you is to get comfortable talking with people about your faith in Christ and why they should come to Christ because he's going to save us in the end. See, even though the devil is going to come after us when this time comes upon the world, and if you look around, you can systematically see that things are being set up for his reign. No one knows for sure when it's gonna happen, but things are being set up. If you do commit your life to Christ, and this is you, someone that's in captivity or to be killed with the sword, then my encouragement is to take heart because the Bible says for us to fear not he who can kill the body, but he who can kill both the body and the soul. And while you may no longer be here in this life, at least you'll have your salvation at the end. With that being said, I appreciate y'all taking the time to hear me out. Pray and hope that you all are doing well. If there's any discussion or comments or prayer requests, you know, leave those down in the comments. Other than that, thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Peace.